Hi ho there my lovies. Welcome back to Crazy But Not Dangerous. I'm Shorty Vaughn and I am glad to have you in my kitchen today over here in Glendale, Arizona. Yay, hooray. Got Valentine's Day coming up. You know what else happens on February the 14th? It's Arizona State Day. Yeah, Arizona became a state February 14th, 1912. And well, I'm just super excited about it. It's my home state. It's the land that I love, you know, the mountains, the desert, the forest. Yeah, we've got forests. We even get snow sometimes. I mean, not very often where I live. You know, that's like a Christmas miracle. But, you know, up in our northern country, they even get snow. Down in our southern country, even they get snow. Where I live, not so much. But we've had some chilly weather. And anyhow... Andrew and I were out and about, and he saw a Sonoran hot dog vendor, and he wanted one so bad. Oh, yeah, he broke his heart. I'm like, baby, like, you can stop and get one, but I can't have one. Well, if you can't have one, I'm not going to have one either. I said, well, I'll tell you what, honey, let's go home, and I'll see what I can whip up at home. Can I do it healthier? And, you know, at home, cheaper than uh, from a Snorin Hot Dog vendor. So, a uh, Snorin Hot Dog is a hot dog, all beef hot dog, wrapped up in bacon. And then it's grilled. And then it's on a super soft bun. Has cheese in there. Tons of mayonnaise, mustard, ketchup, jalapenos, beans. Uh, lettuce, tomato, salsa, whatever you want to put on it. Yeah, that's a Sonoran hot dog. And it's, they have little street vendors with push carts here in the valley. Well, probably all over the desert southwest. Uh, little push carts that are selling Sonoran hot dogs. They also have great big elaborate setups where these guys bring a big screen TV. They show old clips of football and then, you know, they've got the picnic tables and everything else set up. We're not going to all that work, but we're going to have something super yummy and delicious. Maybe a little bit more nutritious. And, yeah, a whole lot cheaper because a Sonoran hot dog is about $12. What are we going to make? We're going to make a Sonoran hot dog taquito. Yeah, I said it. And I mean it too. A Sonoran hot dog taquito. Yeah, you've had those taquitos, those little rolled up tacos with the delicious little filling and ever. Yeah, so that, that we were driving home from the hot dog vendor and poof, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Yay, hooray. I'm, I love to try new things. It's so fun. Let's get down to it, baby. I've got one of these chopped salad kits. This is Mexican street corn chopped salad kit and we gotta move it on along. So we're gonna have this and you know you just follow the directions on the back pretty much you open it and you get yourself a nice bowl and you pour it in there. Pull out your little bag of accoutrements and there we go. So this is a combination of red, pardon me, green leaf lettuce, broccoli stock, red and, red and savoy, cabbage, carrots, smoked paprika, cornbread, crumbles, green onion, crispy corn, and Parmesan cheese. Yes, please. All right. So we've got that. And, you know, it makes some. It's about three servings. Let's take a look at the accoutrements. Now, these cornbread crumbles and that Parmesan cheese, I actually have plans for those for a whole other dinner. So we're going to set those aside. We've got a little bit more Parmesan cheese, so that's fine. And then we have the dressing. So I'm going to use this little bit of Parmesan cheese, this little bit of dressing. I'm going to add this remainder of my English cucumber. Yeah, because I looked in the bed drawer today doing my little daily inventory of what needs to go, and this was crying out to me, lady, if you don't use me today, 
I'm not gonna be any good tomorrow. And you know, once that gets slimy, I'm out. Don't count me in, ah, uh -uh. no. No, thank you. So I'm gonna just go ahead and quarter this up, give this a chippity chop, and go ahead and add that to my salad. Yes, please and thank you. You gotta get your veg in. You gotta get your veg in, babies. How are you doing today? What's new and exciting? Tell me something good that's going on in your life. Well, it's um, 65 today here in Phoenix. It is um, bright and sunny, hardly a cloud in the sky. So those are all good things. I woke up on the right side of the dirt. You can't ask for more than that. Absolutely. So let's go ahead and get our cucumber all in there. I like to make these chopped salad kits a little bit ahead of time because I do think they're better when that dressing has time to get in there and do all those things, get super, you know, delicious and incorporated. So we'll put our little tiny bit of Parmesan cheese in there. Hey, if you've got some extra, go ahead and throw it in. I won't say no. And then we've got this chipotle dressing. Well, I can't get it open. There. Squeeze that all in. So what did we do this weekend? Well, we watched the Super Bowl. That was exciting. Reba was good. And yeah, Usher and all the things. And... Yeah, so you know what? There are no losers to the Super Bowl. Um, yeah, yeah, play in front of millions of people. Hopefully it's a game that you love. And you know, you get a great ring. You know, I'm all for anything that where you get a great ring. That's fantastic. And um, yeah, there's, there's no losers in the Super Bowl. Yeah, what a great, you know, what a great thing. What a great thing to tell your kids, your grandkids. You know, Pops was in the Super Bowl. Mm. So, yep, Super Bowl, yay, hooray. It's fun. Um, we've hosted it a couple of times now here in um, Glendale, and we're always super glad to see it come because it is so fun. We're also super glad to say goodbye uh, when it leaves. I've got a little shredded cheddar here. I got that all blitzed up in my food processor. Got Andrew fixed my blade for me. So, you know, I don't have any more Parmesan. I'm gonna add a little cheddar. Mm-mm, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at that one bit, no. So we got, yeah, watch the Super Bowl. I went and played bingo with all my old lady girlfriends and that was super fun. I did not win, but I went set about six times and you know that just makes my heart beat. I love it. I had such a good time. And there's the chit chat and, you know, all the things. And I was worried about going to play because I have not been in a long time. But it was super fun. And where I go, um, it's super cheap to play. Uh, it's $17 buy-in. And uh, then there's all the little extras and stuff like that. But it's not very expensive so i don't feel bad about you know that little bit of gambling and it all goes to benefit charity it's over at a club not too far from my house so yeah it all goes to benefit charity and you know i feel good about that so got my gambling in i'm gonna get that all mixed up and i'm gonna go ahead and park this in my refrigerator just so it can get incorporated stay good and cold and yeah, I'm ready. I'm so hungry, my belly's hitting my backbone. I'm gonna go ahead and dissect this bit of tomato. It's not much, but it's not, but it's mine. It never really ripened, but it's still firm. And well, you know what? We're gonna eat it anyhow because we own it. Yup. And this is just a little Roma, just a little Roma tomato. So give that a chippity chop. I asked. I asked baby sister if she wanted to join us for dinner tonight. And she asked me, what are we having? And I said, it's Norin hot dog taquitos. She looked at me and she's like, do what? 
I'm gonna say yes, Norn hot dog taquitos. I'll, I'll I'll take a pass on that. She's gonna she's gonna go do her own little bit of grocery shopping. She's gotta stock her pantry up. I always ask her when I place my grocery order, do you want me to get you anything, baby girl? No, no, that's okay. I like to go to the store and look around. I don't know what I want until I see it. Okay, all right. All right, whatever, whatever rocks your bow. It's not mine to judge. She can eat whatever she wants. Anyhow, we had um, Finn for Yourself night last night because I just was not feeling it. And so everybody just did whatever it is that they want and had whatever they want when they wanted it. And I didn't do a darn thing. So, yep, that fend for yourself. Y'all ever have fend for yourself night or clean out the refrigerator night as I often like to refer to it. All right, let's go ahead and get our little bit of diced tomato in there. Yes, please and thank you. Hot diggity. I'm also going to serve it with this can of chili beans. So these are chili beans. They're pinto beans in a mild sauce. I'm not going to drain these or rinse these. But I am going to go ahead and put them into this microwave safe dish. And I will nuke this up. This will be a quick, easy side. And I will nuke it up for about six minutes until it is piping hot. And oh yeah, that already smells so good. You know what? Let's put the love into it, the secret ingredient. Let's go ahead and put a little bu cracked black pepper in there. Absolutely. Here we go. That'll do it. Hot diggity. See, even if we open a can, we add something a little extra to it, and now it's semi-homemade. Can't beat that with a stick. So I have to tell you the funniest little Valentine's Day story about Andrew. Andrew is sentimental fool. He just really is. He, yeah, he loves all of that lovey-dovey stuff, and he's super fun. So he likes to, oh, he likes Valentine's Day. So he gets me a card every year. Very sappy, very romantic, you know, that kind of thing. So one year, he gets me these Valentine's uh, day card and it's super cute it's a black card it's got like a fortune cookie on it and some chopsticks and everything it's adorable and it's got the cutest little message on the inside and he's just written his little love note in there just like when we were young and in love anyhow he gives it to me happy valentine's day well thanks honey and i just hand him my valentine's which is him I don't know, kind of run of the mill. I love you. Happy Valentine's Day. You know, I never know what to say. You know, he's the poet, you know. Anyhow, next year, he gives me the exact same Valentine's. And he's written almost the exact same thing on the inside. So much so, like, thanks for the Valentine's Day. Here you go. I love you. That's fantastic. Thank you. I didn't want to say anything because part of me was wondering, did he just go in my box, you know, with all my cards in it and just grab it and I hand it to me again, going to figure it out. So, you know, he goes to bed and I go out, I go look in the box and, well, there's last year's and here's this year's. He bought the same Valentine twice, two years in a row. All right, well, oh, it happens, I guess. So I just put them in the box, and isn't that sweet? And I got a lovely card for Valentine's, and I'm not going to say anything about it because I don't want to hurt his feelings or anything. The next year, I got the exact same Valentine. Three years in a row. Now, he just goes over to that Albertsons because it's quick, it's convenient, it's across the street. And he thinks he's all stealthy about it, you know. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for a little walk and I'm thinking you're gonna walk I you don't walk anywhere oh 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 Valentine's he's gonna go get my card yeah so yeah he I open the the card up it is the exact same um fortune cookie Valentine's Day card three years in a row so 
I don't say anything, just thank you and I love you and isn't that you're so sweet and thoughtful. You're the love of my life and and, and I go look in the box and I'm like, this is too funny. And so we're approaching Valentine's Day and I said to him, you know, I love you, baby. And I don't want to hurt your feelings, but I have got to show you something. What are you going to show me? So I take him over and I show him the box. I'm like, do you remember this Valentine? And he looks at it and he's like, I don't know. No, I don't remember that Valentine. I'm like, see, you gave this one to me um, this year. And then you gave me this one, the exact same one, the next year. Because I write the dates on them, you know. And then... You gave me this one last year. He's like, I bought you the same Valentine three days in a row. I'm like, baby, I'm not telling you this to hurt your feelings, but these are like $12.75 each. And you know what? Just write me a hand little written note and let's save the $12.75. Anyhow, he's been in there working on my Valentine. And that's more precious than going over and buying me the exact same card three years in a row. Anyhow, men, they're different. They don't they don't remember things like that. He thought it was cute the first time. He thought it was even better the second time. And hot diggity for the third. Yippee skippy. I'm grateful to get a Valentine. But yeah, I'm gonna appreciate a little handwritten one. Little yeah, even if he just scribbles it on a, a post-it note. That's fantastic. My friend, she has like this whole post-it note collection, uh, for little notes from her husband going on in her kitchen. And I think that's precious. Yeah, I don't care if it's on a post-it note. I don't care if it's on toilet paper. We still do a little something for each other, you know, a little note, a little card, something like that. Acknowledge the day. Anyhow, I just think that that's super funny. Three years in a row. Would you have said something or would you have just let him keep on getting the same Valentine's Day card over and over and over again? Tell me down below. Do y'all celebrate? You like the day? You like that idea of it? My mother loved Valentine's Day and she would buy all of her daughters something for Valentine's Day. Just a little something. You know, in case your husband forgot. Because my dad forgot a lot. Anyhow. Let's, I gotta get, I gotta get the, um, the, the indoor grill out. I'm, I'm, it's almost dinner time. Yeah, you're right. All right, so let's go ahead and assemble a Sonoran hot dog to keto. Yes, please, and thank you. I've got some of these keto, um, extreme wellness tortillas. These are delicious. Yippee skippy, low in carb, low in calorie but actually pretty soft and darn tasty if I do say so myself. I have some of these Johnsonville cheddar, um, jalapeno cheddar smoked sausages. They're fantastic. So that's going to be our, um, our Frank, our hot dog. And that is also going to be our spicy jalapeno, um, you know, portion of this Sonoran hot dog taquita. I have some bacon crumbles from over at the Costco. Now, these are delicious. I love them. And the Sonoran hot dog, bacon is an essential part. So I am going to go ahead and give that about two ounces of bacon. This is a fully cooked sausage. So it doesn't need anything else from me besides just warming through. Also have a little bit of the cheddar cheese. And that gets a little sprinkle right there on top. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, we can be generous with the, with the cheese. All right. Now I am going to go ahead and roll this baby up just as tightly as I can. There we go. There we go, like a little torpedo. Yeah, just like that. Looks good. All right. 
Um, I am going to have one. Andrew would like to have two. So I'm going to go ahead and make two more for a total of three. That's going to do us just fine because we've got those beans. We've got that salad. We're going to have plenty. Let's go ahead and do one more. So we've got our hot dog. We've got our bacon crumbles. Cheddar cheese. And now we'll just roll this up as tightly as we can. Giving it a little squeeze as we go along. Uh-oh, some fell out. Put it back in, it'll be okay. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer these onto my indoor grill. Okay, so we've got those all rolled up. I decided to make four more, um, four total. One for me, two for Andrew, and you know what? I'm betting that baby sister wants one when she sees how good they turn out. Don't forget to save your tortilla bag. Use it for dredging. Use it for, you know, something else. Who knows? But it's a good Ziploc bag. You already paid for that plastic. You gotta use it up. Okay, I have my indoor grill here. This is kind of like a George Foreman knockoff. I bought it dozens of years ago. Still working great. Now, a lot of people don't like to use the indoor grill because, you know, it makes a mess. It's hard to clean, blah, 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 blah. Um, your parchment paper can go right in there, baby. Yeah, it won't hurt it one little bit. So you can just lift this up, just like put it right in there. And then that melty cheese, if it, if it leaks out a little bit, the parchment paper will catch it. Yeah, it won't catch on fire. Yeah. Now, even on high, it will still be okay. Yeah. And that's just great because then you don't have to spend a lot of time cleaning, you know, your indoor grill. And it saves the wear and tear on it. So, yeah, you can, yeah, we're just going to go ahead, pull this on down. And then I've got this on low because I need it to toast that tortilla and make that all crispy and delicious. I need it to warm through that hot dog, melt all that cheese. So I'm going to do it low and slow, probably for about seven to 10 minutes. Keep my eagle eye on it to make sure I don't burn it all up. But I'm super excited about Sonoran hot dog taquitos. Yeah, you don't have those fancy Johnson bills. Those weren't on sale. Get yourself some Bar S Franks over at the Dollar Tree. Yeah, they're $1.25. Um, I see them over at the Albertsons for about a buck fifty. That's still pretty good value. Yeah, any hot dog will work great. You know, bacon crumbles, some cheese. Even if you have a piece of American cheese and you just wrap it around there, get that, get the tortilla. Use the tortillas that you like. Yeah, they've got tortillas at my Dollar Tree. They're not low carb. And I kind of miss them. They were pretty good. Okay, well, while those are all toasting up, let's go ahead. I've got my book, my plates out. Got some sour cream. Also going to put a little bit of ketchup on mine. Andrew does not prefer ketchup. He doesn't eat it on hardly anything. But I like ketchup, so I'm going to give myself a couple of little squirts here. And... We will both like some yellow mustard. Yes, please and thank you. Here we go for dipping. Sour cream, ketchup, mustard. Okay, got our salad out and this is well incorporated. Let's give that a good stir and Go ahead and salad up these plates. Yes, please, and thank you.
There we go. Ooh, that Chipotle dressing smells so good. There we go. Fantastic. Plenty of tomato. Oh, it's looking good. Oh, so far so good. That looks fantastic. I think I want some salsa too. Put a little salsa on there. Won't hurt a bit. Maybe Andrew wants some. Ooh, those Sonoran taquitos are smelling so good. I can hardly wait. Did you find something? Oh Lord, he found a little piece of the salad down there. He, he likes salad. I have a little bit of pickled jalapeno. We're almost done with this char. I'm gonna either have to make some or buy some. Give us each a little bit of that. Of course, any of these condiments are completely optional. That's the great thing about building your own Sonoran taquito. You can put on it whatever rocks your boat, baby. Go for it. I'm not gonna say no. Maybe we'll put just a little bit more cheese on top of that salad. Oh, that's looking good. That, oh yeah. Oh, it's got all the feels. It's got all of the feels of the Sonoran dog without all of the bun. Yeah, we're saving some calories. We're saving a few carbs. And I'll tell you what, this was a lot less expensive than $12. All right, so I think these are about ready to come off. They smell fantastic. They look even better. Oh, yes, please. And you can see, ooh, they're a little hot. They even get the really good little grill marks, so they look fantastic. These are super easy and delicious to make. And I can't think of a better way to start celebrating Arizona State Day than with a Sonoran Taquito, yeah, a Sonoran dog, quintessential Arizona foods. Let's go ahead and crack one of these babies open, see what it looks like inside. You know, Arizona is my home. It always has been. It always will be, even if I move away from here. It will still be my home. There's something about the smell of the desert after a rain. That wet creosote smells so good. Something about an Arizona sunset, you know, right behind one of our really great mountains. Um, the coyotes, when you're laying in bed and you can hear them crying at night. Yeah, it's still the Wild West in many, many ways, and that's just fine with me. That's what they look like on the outside. Toasty, crunchy, delicious on the outside, delicious and cheesy. Oh, and that bacon, yes please and thank you. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get these all served up. Yay, hooray, Arizona State Day. It's coming up. We're going to be 112. Well, not me personally. Some days I look like it, but not me personally. Anyhow, I think this looks so good. Sonoran hot dog taquitos. Yippee skippy with all the accoutrements. Oh, and our beans. I forgot. We've got beans, too. Yay, hooray. All right, my lovies, be good. Be careful. Um, look both ways. I'll see you next time. These are going to be fantastic. Bye now.